Goldsmiths has recently instituted a policy and related set of procedures um, addressing some of these issues on our campus and in the larger university context. So we're going to read through some of the basics of the policy and then um, speak out some of the definitions uh, because those will also be the definitions that we're using in our videos. Um, so the policy says that sexual violence, sexual harassment, and sexual misconduct are pervasive throughout society. Similarly, within higher education institutions, there are often complicit cultures that exist, which have and continue to allow such abuses of power and trust to occur. This policy recognizes that the previous lack of formal documentation detailing the college's position on sexual violence, harassment, and misconduct, and seeks to address this by committing the college to taking action as detailed in this associated procedures. So for the definitions that they have, it also says that uh, Goldsmiths recognizes that many of these terms are not always clearly legally, contractually, or socially defined, and that language changes over time. Um, so where definitions do exist, we're aiming to expand upon them and not to limit them. And there's often crossover um, between the definitions as they can have multiple meanings. For sexual violence, when we're talking about sexual violence, um, that means any unwanted sexual act or activity. And there are many different kinds of sexual violence that exist on a continuum, including, but not limited to, rape, sexual assault, child sexual abuse, sexual harassment, coercion, gaslighting, rape and assault within relationships. And sexual violence can also be psychological or physical. Uh, so this is really the umbrella term that we're using to talk about all of these um, related issues. Sexual harassment, as a definition, uh, is any unwanted or unwelcome words, conduct, or behavior of a sexual nature that have the purpose of and or effect of creating an intimidating, embarrassing, hostile, degrading, humiliating, or offensive environment for the recipient. Um, it's a misuse of personal or institutional power and often based on someone's gender, though it's rarely about sexual desire. For the purpose of this policy, whether or not the harasser intended to be offensive is irrelevant, and the limit of acceptable behavior as described by this policy is up to the recipient. So for childhood sexual abuse, I found a really good definition um, by the Department for Education, um, according to which childhood sexual abuse involves forcing or enticing a child or young person um, to take part in sexual activities, not necessarily involving a high level of violence, and whether or not the child is aware of what is happening. The activities may involve physical contact, including assault by penetration, for example, rape or oral sex, or non-penetrative acts such as masturbation, kissing, rubbing and touching outside of clothing. They may also include non-contact activities such as um, involving children in looking at or in the production of sexual images, um, watching sexual activities or encouraging children to behave in sexually inappropriate ways. Um, it's important that it also includes um, grooming a child in preparation for abuse, um, including via the internet. And I think what's important about this definition is that it shows that it doesn't necessarily have to involve violence and it doesn't have to involve penetration. So that's like two things that survivors often ask us about if their experience is still valid or is, mm -hmm. it is still sexual abuse if yeah. it didn't include Overtly. that. And it definitely is. Yeah. All of this is still sexual abuse. Yeah, and we have two more definitions that we talk about in some of the videos that are um, uh, important to just kind of lay down the foundation. Domestic violence uh, is defined as any incident or pattern of incidences of controlling, coercive, threatening, violent, or abusive behavior between those aged 16 and over who are or have been um, intimate partners or family members, regardless of gender or sexuality. Um, and the abuse can encompass, but is not limited to, psychological, physical, sexual, financial, or emotional abuse. So similarly, covering a lot of the categories that um, may or may not be represented in, in the media, something that is um, definitely qualifies as violence. And lastly, sexual misconduct um, in the Goldsmiths context has to do with uh, a misuse of power usually enacted by academic, professional, contracted, or temporary staff in their relation with students. Um, sexual misconduct can include harassment, assault, grooming, bullying, sexual invitations, comments or nonverbal communication with sexual content or overtones, creation of atmospheres of discomfort, or promised resources in exchange for sexual access. So the term sexual harassment captures only some of the possible abuses of power that may occur under the category of sexual misconduct. And these and all the other definitions that are included in the policy can be found uh, on the PDF on the Goldsmiths College and Student Union websites. Uh, and that's also where you can find the report and support tool, which is where students, staff, visitors um, can go to use that portal to do either finding some sort of report or supporting resources through the university.